Hi everyone, welcome to this second video on the chapter 17, Molecular Genetics. This will be a rather short video where we will explore how exactly are chromosomes, DNA and gene related. Because uh, you have now learned about DNA, you previously learned about genes as well as chromosomes. So sometimes you might be a bit confused about which is which and if you can just use them as if they are the same thing. This will be under 17.2 where we will find out how exactly are they related. In this part of the video, you will learn how exactly is DNA arranged in the nucleus? Number two, you'll learn how to describe the relationship between chromosomes, DNA, and gene. Basically, it means to differentiate what exactly do each of the term means. First and foremost, let's get some definition right. Inside a cell, right, you usually have a nucleus, and within a nucleus, you have these things called chromatin strands, right? You should remember it from your earlier chapter on cells. And these chromatin strands actually contains deoxyribonucleic acid, which is known as DNA. But they also have what we call proteins. Okay, so it's not just purely DNA, but it also has proteins. So think of it as this. Inside a cell, you see all these strings that's inside. Those are called the chromatin strands. So if you zoom in a bit, you realize that all these chromatin strands are just very thin looking strings of uh, information. But if you zoom in further, you realize that each of these strings is actually made up of a DNA molecule. Right, so this is how a DNA molecule, like, uh, like what we mentioned in the first video. But there's also all these proteins whereby the DNA is being coiled around it. Right, so the DNA, despite forming its own double helix structure and everything, is actually still very, very, very big. Right, in order for it to become packed into a smaller size, it has to roll itself around all this circular structure, which is called proteins. So, what does this mean? Basically, each molecule of DNA will be wrapped around proteins and through that, that's where they form chromatin thread. So they are not that different in terms of what DNA and chromatin threads are, just that with proteins, it is now called a chromatin thread. Now during cell division, when the cell is trying to divide and grow, what happens is that the chromatin threads will then coil more tightly, so they will condense even further to make it more compact. Okay, so to become more compact, so that the division can happen to save space, in other words. But when it tries to coil up closer to it themselves, right, they now form what we call a chromosome. That's why you look at a chromosome, right, you start to see this kind of structure as shown over here. It's a chromosome structure. But what it is actually made out of, it's made out, made out of a string of DNA with proteins as inside. Okay, so you can think of it as if you, let's say you're going to take a string now, right, this string, if you keep coiling, within itself, that means you keep wrapping it up, wrapping it up, wrapping it up until you get a ball of strings. That is actually how um, chromosomes come about, right? So they are the same thing as chromatin threads, just that they are more packed than chromatin threads. So it is still a string, just that because when the cell needs to divide, right, it doesn't want to waste so much space, so you don't want all these strings to be hanging around, right? So in other words, chromosome and chromatin threads are actually the same thing. You okay, just have a different way to draw them out. So what exactly is genes then? Now genes refers to a specific sequence of nucleotides on the DNA and it must code for the production of a specific polypeptide. Uh, to emphasize again, genes are called genes instead of just saying that they are just normal DNA because they can control a certain type of feature of you. How do they do that? They control the production of a certain type of polypeptide. In other words, they control what kind of proteins is found inside your body. Okay. So gene is basically just a part of the DNA. So over here, I have a chromosome, right? If you take this chromosome, if you have to coil it out, that means you uncoil it, you can actually get a chromatin thread. That means one string. Uh, this chromatin thread, if you zoom in further, is actually a DNA structure. Because chromatin threads are made up of DNA structure. Then in terms of gene, you will mean a part of the DNA structure, a sequence of the DNA structure. Okay, we will be ending here for this particular video.